I don't mean to say it like to be a snitch, but like get a dean that you trust. Cause I feel like a responsible adult is the way to go. Not only does it stop fights, they understand the kids that want to fight. It gets you in the right head space. Yeah. Welcome to Los Jovenes Podcast. I'm your host, Brandy, and today we're here with Davina, Mila, and Liliana. Today we're going to be talking about kids with manners. With no manners. Oh, with no manners. Um, We're going to start off with the icebreaker. What school do you guys represent? I represent Rise and GBR. I represent Gals. I represent Lake. Oh, well, like, what do you represent? I represent um, Lake. Well, speaking of school, have you ever been in a class that is your favorite and kids ruined it for you? Um, yes, definitely. What What did they do? Um, like they just do, run around, do whatever they want, and they talk over the teacher, and it's just annoying. Just disrespect. It's disrespectful. Yeah. Would you say like it affects you, like in your learning? Absolutely. I feel like every student needs a different way of learning, and when somebody disrupts it, it's horrible for everybody, including the teacher. How about you, Mila? Like, yeah, um, probably my period five social studies. I really like that class because my teacher tries to engage in fun activities, make it fun for the class, except when kids don't listen, kind of like Davina said, everyone has their own way of learning and it just disrupts everyone when nobody listens. What about you, Brandy? I would just have to say my seven period, like it's kind of like yours. Like they just do whatever they want. They just run around. It also has to do with how their parents raised them, you know? Yeah, like, but not all. Not all of it's yeah. their parents. I also feel like it's when you go to a new school, how the kids influence, like the kids you know, bad influences. Yeah. yeah. Cause p- kids pick up on how other people act around them. So when everyone else is acting bad and being disrespectful, they pick up on that. They think it's okay to do. Yeah. yeah Cause they don't see like the kids, bad, the bad kids getting in trouble. So like, they think it's okay, so. I feel like also, it, it kind of does affect the parents because, like, they change and then their attitudes at home. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes it hard for their parents. Yeah. Especially going into, like, middle school and stuff, like, with uh, kids that know better and still act like the way they do, it just, you know, it's not a good mix. I feel like kids don't grow out of that until sophomore year. Yeah. Yeah. Because freshmen still act like that as soon as they get into <laughs> Yeah. Do you think that they get influenced at home to be like that? Or do you think it's just at school? I think it's everything. I think it's public, school, and maybe at home too. Yeah, because I know some parents who like don't don't really care how they are around their kids. So some kids like learn off of that. At school, like at school, mm-hmm. what's like the craziest behavior that you guys like not like noticed and seen? I've seen a lot of kids smoking in the back of the classroom, but... Um, mostly fights. I feel like fights happen a lot at schools, especially because of drama and all that. I think the craziest behavior that I've heard about, I didn't see it luckily, but these two girls were fighting and it got so bad that a girl got her hair ripped out. And I think that just goes to show that when kids are picking up on their surroundings, I think it just goes to show that kids pick up a lot. Especially like when people jump, they see like one person fighting and then they're like, oh, well, they're fighting. Let me go fight them too, you know? And also like, you know, going back to the question, the craziest thing that happened was like, I think there was like five fights in one day. Like it was like in one hour. And I feel like all of them happened because the kids who were fighting influenced the other like every other everybody else yeah. like all the other kids to yeah. fight i feel like no also weren't they jumping too yeah they were like it was just so crazy and plus like the attention that they get at home it also has to do with that like they they can be doing it for attention or like what if they don't get enough attention at home yeah to like be seen or heard by other people because they don't at home or other yeah. places yeah yeah well if they do get the attention at home probably then just influence and or like yeah just influence because i see my sister going or like my little sister going around her friend and stuff and then she comes home and she acts like she's a grown person i'm like no thank you or like maybe what if it's they still get attention but it's not enough for them i feel like 
like they're just being selfish. So I think it could be mental health issues. Like they're struggling with a lot like in their head. And so the only way that they know to let that out is through being disrespectful to other people or teachers or whatever. Yeah, like they could be going through something. But if they were going through something, like if they are, like... Uh, I don't feel like that should be an excuse. In, yeah, an excuse yeah. to go out and start fighting, being disrespectful. Yeah. It's more of an explanation rather than ex- an excuse. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they take out all their anger on other people, which it kind of, like, it does affect other people because mm-hmm. they're getting, like, yeah, not yelled at, but, like, the people that, are, like, are hurt or whatever, they're mean towards the other people, and that makes them, like, not want to, like, talk to them or hang out with them. Yeah, it also, like, affects, like, having friends and stuff. Yeah, like, people don't want to be friends with you if you're mean. Yeah. If you're not showing your real self and, like, following people is yeah. how to lose friends quickly. It's like you, basically, you're telling them, like, you're showing them without telling them that you basically want to be them. Maybe they're just, like, really hurt, like, because people don't want to be their friend. If you get bullied, like, you're just used to getting bullied, so you want to bully other kids, so they don't bully you, you know? Yeah, past yeah. trauma, yeah. trauma at home. Yeah, they're trying to fit in, basically. Would you say, if in your, like, schools, would you say, like, how much of that do you see? Too much. Too Especially much. in high schools, all the different grade levels. In that subject. Too much for a middle school. Yes, yeah, the same like too much, especially because there's like the ages are so close together. Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I, I don't um, know if it made sense, but I think another problem for my school at least is that it's a middle and high school, so I think kids are picking up on high schoolers' behavior, and there's like nothing against high schoolers, of course, but definitely like they're going through a different stage in their life than middle schoolers are, and so they're gonna be acting differently, and middle schoolers are picking up on that and then replicating that behavior. Yeah, also peer pressure, peer yeah, pressure is what like. Lot gets people routed up like there's been many times at my school where people peer pressure other kids to fight there'd be like dares like oh i dare you to throw this or i dare you to go ask a disrespectful question to a teacher i'm like um come on now yeah come on now get it together why would you think they act like the way they do um attention (laughs) yeah attention back to attention i feel like they just don't get it enough they feel like they need to show out i think i feel like we just attention and just wants to be rude or like just for fun do you think that it makes you like view other people different from when you see that like their action yeah because like i've seen nice people like nice people from elementary school like i'm all friends with everybody in that school and then once we go to middle school they get influenced and all these other types of stuff and i'm just like it changes them yeah. like you could really tell how an influence changes a person like it's really bad especially in middle school yeah i feel like there's kids that i've known at the beginning of the year that i've changed by the end because of bad people influencing them because they're hanging out with the wrong people they just change their whole personality and the fact that they blame it all on the teachers like the teachers don't get off they don't get paid a lot and trust if i was a teacher well i mean like the teachers it could sometimes be the teachers because they choose not to like tell them anything they just yeah. sit there like like some teachers, they don't understand kids, but also um, teachers that do like have been working there, working with middle school kids for a long time. They know how they are. Like they're kind of used to it. Yeah. So I have a question. Do you guys feel safe when like fights happen or like, do you feel like it's weird or like it's awkward for it to happen in front of y'all? Oh, it's so I'm just awkward. like shocked. Um, it happens yes, so fast. I freeze. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I freeze. It's just so awkward because you're just standing there watching two people pull each other's hair out and stuff. And then the security guards all come and, and everything. Guard, yes. <laughs> it is so hilarious. I can never get in a fight though. That's so embarrassing. Right. Yeah. Well, have you ever gotten in any fights? Like, no, I in haven't. School? No. Didn't know. No. Like arguments, yeah. <laughs> a Argue lot of a lot. Lot. <laughs> yes, yeah. but fights never that would you get into a fight like it really depends but like no if someone pushes my buttons i know how to like manage it yeah i know mm-hmm. how to how my words hurt like i feel like words hurt more than fighting so yeah i feel like there's not really an excuse to like like beat somebody up just because they were talking crap or whatever like you can still tell them off or whatever you yeah. know but i don't think there's really an excuse for that I feel like there's an extent to that, but like, see, like, if you've told them once already, you told them to like chill out with that, and then they just continue to do it, then that's when you really gotta like do something, cause like it just gets annoying. Well, people are gonna talk about you your whole life. Wait, yeah. yeah. 
It sounds like you've been in a fight. Yeah. Well, no, oh, like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like people are going to talk about you your whole life. Yeah. Like there's no, like you're not going to be 40 years old fighting somebody. No, just, that's stupid. Like, yeah. Especially when you're like a teacher. Obviously kids talk stuff, but a teacher's not going to go and fight a student. What would you say is like the dumbest reason to fight or that you've heard? Over the, a boy. The reason what the fight Over a boy. That's not um, cute. Over, <laughs> over a jacket. A jacket? Yeah. When you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that? Oh, so basically, somebody <laughs> stole someone else's jacket, and then someone who wasn't even involved wanted to fight the girl that stole the jacket. I feel like the dumbest reasons to get in a fight is like if you're not in a drama, but you just want to start stuff, just to yeah. just to instigate. Yeah, like being an instigator. Just no. I feel like some kids want to fight because I mean, you guys have seen fights before, right? Like there yeah. are tons of kids watching and like recording, and so they know that they're gonna be getting that attention, which yeah. is just what they want. And but they probably want like credit for winning a fight or. Something. Yeah. Like especially with the older kids, like there could be a sixth grader, one of them won the fight, and then an eighth grader be like, Oh yeah, that person I feel like that's just yeah. stupid. Like you're older and you're doing that. Set an example for the younger yeah. kids. Yeah. I feel like at my school it's literally <laughs> the opposite. You could help them and like set that example for them. I feel like you could help peers by convincing them not to do it because like I've convinced <laughs> many kids or like many of my friends at my school to not fight because I know they're gonna get suspended. Yeah, it's just not worth it. And like um also I don't mean to say it like to be a snitch, but like get a dean that you trust. Cause yeah. I feel like a responsible adult is the way to go. Not only does it stop fights, they understand the kids that want to fight. Basically. It gets you in the right headspace. Yeah. They could talk you out of it in like... Or it. Yeah. But what I don't like is that they have us talk to the kid. Oh, I know. Like, like they oh, like, yeah, oh, you guys don't have to be friends, but you guys can still be mutual. No, thank you. No, there was one time I was in school and they forced me to be with the girl that I didn't like at Many all. times. Many times. Oh. It isn't It isn't stop in high school. It actually gets worse. Like, yeah. they really yeah. make you sit with the whole friend group, actually. Oh, and talk to all them. That was it for Los Jovenes Podcast. See you guys in the next episode.